and welcome to Doubling in Journals and week two of my December Deadly Challenge. Now I am journaling for December in this beautiful little passport plus from Chic Sparrow. As you can see, I've got a mark on it while I was journaling this week. But the great thing about a leather like this is that the marks do eventually just kind of absorb, because I've got marks on it before, they kind of absorb and when you condition your leather that helps as well and they eventually disappear so I'll let you know in the future whether this mark eventually disappears but I feel fairly confident that it will so never panic if you get things on your journals you can clean them with a baby wipe you can put some conditioner on and then they will be even more beautiful than ever and even if the marks don't go away they show love so let's have a look at what I've been doing in my December daily. Oh, and for those of you that follow me and are interested, I will put a clip introducing my puppy at the end of this video, really hoping that I can hide my black eye with makeup. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. So what have I been doing? I have been really busy and it's been really, really good fun. And deciding to do a December daily challenge has really motivated me to start doing festive things for the festive season. So I've already shown this page. I still haven't corrected my spelling mistake here. I missed an I eye out of Christmas <laughs> so I just need to stamp that out again and take that off and put the right one in but that was when I was doing some Christmas shopping and this was when I was making lists I showed them in my last video and this of course on the 3rd of December was the day that I picked up my new puppy and she is as you can see completely and utterly adorable so that's a little photo of Nimue Norel and I've just done it as a tip in and I've done a little bit of journaling underneath. I've, I've put there, and now the hard work begins, but she is adorable. And I'm using these numbers that are just from a piece of paper in one of my paper pads from my stash, which was just a page of numbers, and I've been cutting them out so that I can put them on the pages to mark what day it is in my December daily journal. And as you can see, it's just passport size and it's so quick and easy. I've just tipped in a photograph, put a little piece of pattern paper here, put her name, done my journaling, and it really doesn't take very long. And of course, this journal is going to be very preoccupied with Puppy because that's the main thing that I'm going to want to remember for December this year is her arrival. And here I managed to get a picture of her with her mummy, which was quite difficult to do because she kept running off. <laughs> So even though she kept running off, I did eventually manage to get a picture. They're both learning sit. Well, obviously, Mummy or River already knows how to sit. And we were teaching Nimue how to sit on command. And so I managed to get a picture of her. So that was really lovely. And then, so that was the 4th of December. On the 5th of December, I had lots of visitors. My sister and my niece and my brother-in-law came to meet her. And my my partner's mum came to meet her so that was a really lovely day and I've decorated this <laughs> on my list I've got my list here in the middle of my journal of all the things that I could do and journal about during the month of December and if you saw the setup you will have seen this list and I've listed everything on that video and one of the things on this video was that I would like to have a gingerbread latte but of course I've got a new puppy so how can I go to Starbucks or any of the other coffee shops Nero, Costa and all the independent coffee shops that are available to us how could I go because I can't because I've got a new puppy so my wonderful sister brought me some cans of Costa gingerbread latte and a packet of gingerbread man to go with them. <laughs> and then I teased her afterwards and said, where's the whipped cream? You need some whipped cream <laughs> on the top with some nutmeg or cinnamon to finish off your gingerbread latte. But I was very grateful, very touched and really enjoyed drinking them. So it was absolutely wonderful. I didn't actually get to eat many of the gingerbread men because my boys spotted them. <laughs> My partner and my son, it seems also like gingerbread men, but I did very much enjoy the ones I have. So I put gingerbread here, I've put my number, I've got a little enamel gingerbread man there from uh, Mrs. Brimble's. 
and underneath here a lovely little cup with the whipped cream that I didn't get. <laughs> I might order some in my Christmas shopping so that I can have a whipped cream gingerbread latte, just the one, because whipped cream is not healthy, but delicious, of course. And I've used my lovely Christmas washi tape from Wish and Note, and I've journaled, and I really enjoyed that. That was a lovely memory for me to keep for December. And this is the 6th of December, and here I've got my number six. I've used a really pretty piece of, I don't know, washi paper here on top of my Christmas paper. I've used a little Christmas stamp to do my journaling. And here I was journaling again. Let me just see, is that in frame now? So it's a flip up. And at the top I've got my new puppy, Nimue, in her little anti-anxiety donut bed, looking very happy. She loves it, she sleeps in it all the time she's sleeping in it now which is why i can make a video and here we've got a picture of her mummy river who stole her donut bed <laughs> look at her she's like like completely put herself over the top of her donut bed saying what about me this this i want this river river off thank you and so i've put thief here but i will be ordering river a donut bed as she seemed to look as if she might like one uh, but she obviously needs a much bigger one than the puppy she's up to mischief what have you got now and i just got completely distracted then by my thief river who was trying to steal other things from around me and so let's carry on so that was that page the sixth on ooh, on the 7th, oh, this was the day where I finally thought of things that I could buy for my granddaughters for Christmas. And I've put all these nostalgic stickers of toys. And I remember when they would be writing to Father Christmas and asking for lots of toys and it was so much fun. But of course they're 11 now and getting very grown up and they don't really want toys anymore. But having said that, they're still really excited about Christmas and I have thought of some presents, but given that they sometimes watch my videos, I'm not going to tell you what they are, but that's what I was thinking about on the 7th. On the 8th, I was making my dried oranges. So these were really fun and easy to make and lovely things to use in decorations or to make your home smell lovely at Christmas. You just thinly slice oranges, you heat your oven to 120 degrees centigrade or equivalent, Place your orange slices, as I have done here, on a wire rack and bake for an hour or until completely dried out. And then I filled a bowl, I've got a picture here, I filled a bowl with my dried orange slices and mixed them with cinnamon sticks, star anise and cloves and it just smells like Christmas. And it was so easy, I think I'm going to make some more. And here is my bowl on my table. <laughs> Here is my bowl with all my dried orange slices, my cinnamon sticks, my star anise, and I think I put some cloves. Yeah, I've yeah, I've put cloves in here as well. Little tiny cloves and the smell is absolutely gorgeous. And of course you can use these little dried orange slices on gifts. You could put them in your decorations around your home. You could hang them off the Christmas tree. This one has a natural hole, but it'd be easy to poke a hole through. Really fun and rustic festive decoration, which I really enjoy. So that was the 8th of December. On the 9th of December, I started making my mincemeat. And as Mel commented in my setup video, mincemeat is not actually made of meat. Even though it's called mincemeat, it's actually a sweet filling for a pie. It's full of raisins and sultanas and currants and orange peel. And I think the reason it maybe was called meat is because it used to be made with beef suet beef shredded suet, so beef fat. But I actually have lots of vegetarian people in my family, so I've made mine with a vegetable shredded suet, <clears throat> which is readily available these days. And that was the first day. It takes a couple of days to make it, according to the recipe I was using, and you mix up all your ingredients and then you leave them to infuse so that all the flavors of the spices get into the fruit. And then the next day, on the 10th, I actually cooked it. And I was using a recipe from Delia Smith. Delia Smith in England is a household name. She was one of the first 
TV celebrity chefs. I, w I wouldn't be surprised if there's many people who cook that aren't familiar with Delia Smith. So I made mince meat according to her recipe, which I've never tried before. And it was interesting because you mixed up, mixed up all the ingredients. And as I say, you left them to infuse. And then the next day you cooked them in the oven so that the suet, that is the fat sort of part of the recipe, melts and coagulates all around all the fruit. And it's all ready then to go into a mince pie. And it contained... Bramley apples, which are big cooking apples. It did contain almonds, but if you're a nut, if you don't like nuts or can't eat nuts, you could leave those out. Mixed ground spice, ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, brandy. A lot of brandy because you want to <laughs> have that lovely boozy flavour in your mince pie. The shredded suet, mixed dried fruit, soft dark brown sugar, and then the grated zest and juice of two oranges and two lemons. And I have now baked my mince meat and put it into jars. I can show you, I have this jar here, all ready to gift to a loved one. I made six jars of this mince meat and all you do is make some pastry, put in a spoonful or so of the mince meat, which isn't meat, it's fruit, <laughs> and you make a mince pie and they are delicious. And on this page, I've used some of my Festive Christmas washi, put my number 10 with some patterned paper as a tip in because I liked both sides of it. I just tipped it in. I've got this lovely greenery with the berries on this side and a rose with some more greenery and berries on that side. And here I added a sticker from Sticky Club because I think I mentioned to you, if you watch my Monday video, my bullet journal video, that I had was running out of Christmas stickers and I'd been hoping that Sticky Club would send me in this month's subscription pack some more wintry stickers and they did and so I have started using them. So I'm really happy about that and that was one of them, really beautiful. And I'll show you some more in a minute. And that was the 10th. Where did 11 go? Here's 11. So on day 11, this was a very doggy day. So I've tipped in a piece of pattern paper with this beautiful cone on it and my number 11 for the 11th of December. And I've journaled here and here and I was journaling about dogs basically. And my daughter came over with her husband, her children and her two mini American Shepherds. And we introduced them to little Nimue and it went really well which we have been a little bit worried because my daughter's dogs are reactive, very high energy, mini American Shepherds. And they recognized the puppy as a puppy and one of their own. And they were very gentle and there was no problems. Obviously we had puppy in a pen initially and they could just sniff her. And yeah, it went really well. And here we've got puppy being introduced to her boundary bed because in my art room, I have the two raised beds. River likes the top one because you can see out the window, which is up here. And I'm introducing little Peppy to the bottom one so that she can start learning how to stay in place and settle when required. And I use these boundary beds uh, as well as for training. I use them if somebody knocks on the door, River knows to go into this room and up onto her bed she can see who's knocking at the wind out of her out of the window and she's not going to escape out of her front door so it's very important for me in our home to have boundary beds for my dogs so i used here a piece of note paper that came in this month's sticky pack and i've got the stickers here and it came with this lovely notepad and as you can see i've just stuck the notepad or a piece of the notepad onto the paper and i did my photograph and December memories and yeah I got really lovely stickers I have taken a few out because there were some that I just thought would be perfect for one of my happy mail friends Mel and so I don't want to show you them because she'll see them if she watches the video but there's some lovely oh look at the foxes I mean they're not Christmassy but I'm so gonna hoard those they're so gorgeous and these are wintry stickers obviously these are wintry stickers with the penguins and these, maybe not so much wintry, but look, do you see here, there's a gonk. We call these gonks. <laughs> what 
do you call them in the US? They're like little people and the hat comes right down to their nose so they don't look like they've got any eyes. And we call them gonks. And there's tons of them in the shops at the moment. If you go shopping for Christmas decorations, you can't find any Santa Claus. You can only find, <laughs> well, you can find Santa Claus, but you can only find all these little gorgeous little tiny gonks. So <laughs> I thought that was really funny when there was one on this sheet. And then these are absolutely gorgeous. Haven't used one yet, but beautiful winter stickers from Sticky Club. And these, as you can see, I've already used a couple I'm saving that teddy bear for when my new grandbaby boy is born. And there's other wintry stickers on here too. And a knitting one, which is cool because I really knew, did want to do some knitting. Anyway, that was, I'm um, digress. So that was the 11th of December. On the 12th of December, I was making my Christmas pudding liqueur. And I decided to use a recipe by Jamie Oliver. Now I mentioned that the Delia Smith recipe that I used for my mincemeat, Delia Smith has been an icon celebrity chef for, well, all my whole life. She, she must be older than me because she's always been on the TV. <laughs> and Jamie Oliver is a more recent celebrity TV chef. And I thought I'd choose his recipe to make what he calls Christmas pudding vodka. And it is made from vodka, but what you get at the end is like a liqueur. So you put two teaspoons of ground mixed rice into a pan and you warm it to release the flavors together with some sticks of cinnamon. You also need a lemon and orange, 500 grams of mixed dried fruit, 450 grams of light Moscovado sugar and a liter of quality vodka and then you mix it all up in the pan and you let it infuse and you just stir it every time I go past it I give it a stir and try and encourage the flavors to come out and then what I'll have to do probably tomorrow is you take a sieve and you line it with muslin and then you pour this wonderful mixture through the muslin and then the liquid that comes out is the liqueur that you can then bottle and gift to people that you love, which is what I'm going to do. And I've already had a little sneaky taste and it's delicious. The only thing I wish is that I'd done that before I made the mincemeat because I could have used the leftover fruit, which, is, which will be all infused with the booziness of vodka. I could have used that in the mincemeat. So if I do this next year, I will swap around the order that I do that, but I will find a use for the fruit, I won't waste it. And then on the 13th, on this day, I was feeling really happy because I was nearly done with my Christmas gift sorting. I had used my little secret book, which I have in here, so nobody can see what I'm gifting them. <laughs> and I put everybody's name in and I was thinking about what I could gift them. And I've now got to the point where I've made my list, I've checked them twice. <laughs> Everything is bought apart from one gift for my son-in-law and also a birthday gift for my son-in-law. So I've decided actually what I'm going to get, just haven't ordered them yet. And I really live this little snowman, <laughs> snowman piece of ephemera from Mrs. Brimble. So I popped that on there. And this was one of the stickers from the new Sticky Club that I received this week. And it's a window with a snowman peeking through. And I thought it just went beautifully with that page. And then here I'm all ready to go for the 14th, which is yesterday, which I'm just about to do. But I don't think I've got time to share that with you. So you can see that next time I share my December daily. This lovely little bookmark came in my sticky club pack, which I really like. And so I'm using that in here. So that is my December daily journal. Haven't done any sketches yet. Hopefully I'll do some this week to share with you. So I'm all ready now to do my next week of journaling and I will share that with you once I have done it. And I'm just gonna say a little goodbye for those of you that don't wanna watch the puppy video that's coming. So bye and thank you for watching. And those of you that are interested in meeting my new puppy, I will add that little video clip on now. Hello everybody, this is Nimue. Hang on, let me give her a treat. Here you go. Look, here she is. 
lovely girl, lovely girl, lovely girl. Such a lovely girl. This is my little puppy and her mummy is currently trying to get on the table for her drink. <laughs> oh, did you see River's head then? Well, let's see if we can get River's head higher. River. Ah, oh, that's mummy. <laughs> and that's Nimue. <laughs> let's go again, Nimue. You have a treat. Oh, they're not really treats. It's just their dog food. <laughs> but they love it so much. <laughs> they love it so much. It's my baby girl. You. Baby girl, you're not my baby girl, you're River's baby girl. Yeah. You're so cute, so cute. So, another one. And River, River, come and say hi. Come and say hi. There she is, River. <laughs> and here's Nimue. Oh, I'm glad that you've seen her, and I will, <laughs> I will try and show you in all her glory, in various. All the various things she's gonna learn and oh I love her, love her, love her, love her, love her, love her. All the things she's gonna learn and <laughs> that she <laughs> she really wants to wriggle. <mwah> you're my baby girl. Yeah? No, you're mummy's baby girl. You're mummy's baby girl. Mm. Love you too. <laughs> I let them both go. So there, that is my beautiful little baby puppy and thank you for joining me and I will see you again soon. <laughs> Bye!